video is going to have a quick look at importing a surface, importing some line work, creating a surface on board, um, managing an active surface, and looking at how to get um, a couple of different features to interact with the dozer on the screen. So here I have a new job and I have my model on a USB stick ready to import. If I have line work or a DWG with a model and line work, um, I can also import that into the job. So I'm going to go into File, Surfaces. The first thing I want to do is import my surface, my model, my design, whatever you may be calling it, into the job. So if I click Import, I'm going to bring, be bringing in a TN3 file, which is just my triangulation, just my model. So select that from my USB stick. There it is there, hit OK. Press OK. So you'll notice it doesn't instantly appear. When this happens, um, chances are there's one of two things. Either your dozer is nowhere near your model, and as you start to track about the site, it will appear. Um, but more probably is the fact that a coordinate system is um, incorrect or needs to be selected. So if I go File, then Control, I generally page across the top first to projection and in alphabetical order, go and find the country that you're you're working in. Um, I'm in the UK, which is hidden in Europe. Scroll down to find the UK. Click the little plus to open up UKO. And then here, I would like to find OST in 15, but my simulator only has 0 02 at the moment. Select OK. Then go back into File, Control, and this time page across to the second tab called coordinate system and just make sure it's not on localization you want it to be the known projection and usually the defaults in here are going to work well there might not even be another option and you want to make sure you select geoid and choose whatever geoid is available in there again usually only one or two if it's the uk you're really looking for 15 on everything and then when you're happy with your coordinate system, you should think, oh, where's my data? I've done everything I thought I needed to do. Well, the last thing is making your surface active. So just because you've imported your surface doesn't mean it's going to be available to use. You need to scroll to active, surface, then tell it you actually want to work with that surface. So file, active, surface, cut model. So here, there's something still not quite right with my job. So I'm just going to double check everything. So I go file, control, and make sure that my coordinate system has remembered what I wanted. And there we go. So that's the model imported. When you import it, you might see this. So if I go display options, working surface, and turn the triangle mesh on, you maybe are used to getting a file like this. The triangles just mean what the design team has modeled, what they've given you heights for. So everything inside those blue lines have heights. And to demonstrate that, if I turn my doors around and force it off the design, I now get out, out of design area. I come back into the design. You can see now that I'm getting a cut fill here for a level, which is what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be level. If you expect a level and it doesn't match what you wanted, then you want to click on your cut fill icon here and make sure this box is zero your elevation set point. If you were to go in here and let's say for instance it said 0.5, that means there's half a meter offset applied to the machine. Well, the, the calculation between your blade height and the design is now being manipulated by half a meter. So you'll see it's telling me to fill half a meter. So always when you first put in your model, if you've not been asked or you don't want any offsets, Click in here and make sure to hit zero, and then set. 
and then you'll be working to the heights that the model wants you to. If you want to get rid of these green triangles, you can go File, View, Display Options, Working Surface, and untick the triangle mesh, and then you'll just have your lines. So these lines here are just break lines. They're, they're just demonstrating what can be modeled and what can't be modeled. If you actually have line work that you want to steer to, you either need to request line work in a, DX, a DWG or an LN3 file, which is Topcon's line work file. Now, if I have line work, same rules apply on the USB stick, go file, and here it's, you import as layers. So I go layers, import, and like I just said, I'm going to bring in an LN3 file. Um, line work from AutoCAD file would be a DWG. A TP3 file is a Topcon project file created on Topcon Office software. But I'm choosing LN3 Topcon line work. There's my file there. Press OK. So layers, import, I actually want it to come from my D drive, my USB stick, cut fill model, that's better. There we go. So show, if I want to turn layers on and off, I can click here, show yes, yeah, show no. I want to see all my layers. So now I have line work for my job now. I've got lines for, for everything. Got some passing points on the road, got driveways, fences. Now the benefit of having line work it means I can do this now. So if I wanted to steer to this line, for instance, I can hold my finger on the line, click polyline, and then steer to. Then I can hold my finger down on the screen again and hit display text and give me my offset to line, for instance. So there on the screen, as I track as I track anywhere, you'll see it's telling me how far away I am from that line that I want to work to. So a really nice feature. Or I'll hold my finger down on the screen and hit display text. I can also get a steering offset. So if I was to, oh, my simulator's gone a bit out of control. Um, I can set a steering offset to that. The other display text, um, station and cross slope. If you're not familiar with it, you may not use use as much. But if I t you'll see here, my um, steering offset is now. I need to go 1.146 meters until I'm in on on that line. So really nice, simple features there with line work. I'm just going to turn all my text off and turn my polyline off just now as well. If my simulate, simulator lets me. Um, so some nice features there to use with with the with the line work. Now where this says minus, if I get back into the model, sorry, I'm going all over the place here. So where this says up or down, that's my cut fill, right? So if I wanted to add an offset, Maybe I just want to take 250 off where I'm sitting. I can click in here and an elevation set point, tell it I want to take minus 0.250. Yep, it's set. And now I've just created a 250 mil cut from wherever I am. Once I'm down there, if someone says, right, from this layer, we need to go 1.75, can add to it. And just basically keep creating whatever offsets I want. So you don't always need to wait for someone to give you certain heights if you know what the levels are going to be. At any point in here, you can set your blade anywhere on site. Click in here and hit match. And when you hit match, it's going to take a reading, a level reading of wherever your blade is, and then create you a zero point. So as you track about when you're up and down cut fill says zero, you know it's at the point you hit your blade match. So the last thing I'm going to quickly look at is if you wanted to create your own surface, go file, surface, new. 
So a sloping plane will ask you to go and put your blade at the start and end of a slope. Um, it's quite easy to follow. I can't really demonstrate it on, on the simulator. Um, but the flat plane always need to give it a name. Hit next. You want to hit this button here with the red arrow on the on the cross. It basically means put your blade on the site that you want to flatten out at whatever level you want to make flat or on a benchmark. Press this and it's going to create a level plane, so an infinity model based on this level, 51.060. If someone said to you, see where your blade's sitting, we need to create a surface a meter below that, you'd say, no problem, I'll just change this to 50. So I've just taken a meter off my blade height, hit finish. And here I can, I'm just going to press OK. It says set car part two as active surface. You want to say yes. Active being that's what your heights are now referencing. Referencing My simulator is going a bit crazy. If you get lost with it at all, I would recommend going into file, surfaces, and your previous ones where it says show, just press show to change it to no. Press OK. Same with the line work, the layers. You can go into here and just put these to show. If you want, but now you'll see it's making it a little bit more easy to, to follow. Apart from my polyline, that it's not, it's not allowing me to um, to turn off a little bit of a simulator error. But this that grid you can see in the background is now my infinity grid um, that I've created. And you'll see in here, I can just now change that grid as I want. If I want to make my heights a meter different, give myself a meter up. Once I'm finished with my infinity grid, I can just go to file, active surface, Um, sorry, surfaces, take my original one to show, make that my active surface, and then I'm off to work again. If I want my line work to come back in, file, layers, and put these back onto yes. So some nice features. Um, Hopefully your dozer doesn't fly about the world quite as fast as my broken simulator, but someone somewhere will hopefully find this helpful.